Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back and thanks for tuning in. We are at Groves Point. Little ways past where the windmills are. You can probably see them here behind me up on the hill. Now that's quite a ways back around the turn. So today we have the Femi X8 Mini version 2. And it's been a while since I've taken this drone out. I booted it up today and found out there was a new firmware. Actually yesterday. And there was a new firmware but i kicked it up again today and there was again another new firmware this time for the camera yesterday was a flight controller and fixed some known bugs so let's see if we can format this sd card because it usually gives you that timeout error timed out well okay i think it said format succeeded there Okay, it's showing it's okay. So, okay guys, let's go in these settings here and we'll tell you guys what we're on. The flight controller is now 1034B and the camera is 2207A. Okay, so camera options. Uh, we're gonna put it on, put the white balance on cloudy, I think, because it's quite cloudy here. Yeah, okay, and we have it on 16 by 9, 8 megapixel, colors on general, and I believe that's it, so let's turn the video on, let's check here, yeah, we're normal. Okay guys, we've got uh, 20 satellites, let's start recording and auto take off there we go drone moved back a little bit here because it's quite windy as i'd imagine you can probably hear on the uh, microphone so let's actually activate sport mode here okay so up and out we go guys the drone is pretty stable considering it's windy Now I've flown here yesterday and uh, it was a lot higher wind than it is here today. I was getting the gust warning and I'm getting it now, gale warning, please fly carefully. But it was quite a bit higher than, uh, quite a bit higher yesterday than it is today. And I've got the wind blowing in my face so we're flying out into the wind. The camera seems to look pretty good guys. Uh, looks like my horizon is a little bit off here. It's a little bit crooked by the looks of it. Let's actually spin around. And there we are down there. You can see the car just passing us now. And in the background there, there's those windmills where I used to fly at, guys. We're doing a little type of a drony here now. We're 160, just about 170 meters out, and 120 meters up. I'm gonna bring it down just slightly. There we go. So let's see if we have any type of trouble coming back. No, we're good, we're golden. So let's have a little fly around here, guys, and check that sunset out. I know you're not going to see too much of the sun because what's left of it there is behind the clouds and that's me holding up on the gimbal you've seen that rocking because I'm flying full stick forward and the gimbal's trying to pitch down we'll go to about 500 meters and that's about it and we're, we're coming around on that right now guys 490 there we go that's 500 so we'll pull a little circle. I mean, you can see all those islands out there. A couple of them anyway. And this is the Bador Lake. And we're way back over here. Just in front of that pond. Let's head back that way. Uh, 
There you can now see those windmills. Yeah, we're not having any trouble coming back. We're getting uh, 14, 14 meters per second coming back. We'll fly up the other direction. Seems to work good, guys. Let's actually change the uh, change the white balance. Okay, we can't while we're filming. Let's stop for a second. Let's go back in. Oh, we did. We didn't even have the video quality on high. Let's set that to high. And okay, we've got the white balance to auto. Let's see, sunny, cloudy. Okay, it switched back because I had it on the picture, so now we're going to have it into cloudy, and let's start recording. Yeah, that, that looks better. The water kind of looked a little purplish there on my FPV feed before I stopped recording, but it looks really, really decent now. Let's pitch that camera down and see what the grass looks like. Colors are quite a bit better now. More natural looking, the green. Somewhat. It's not perfect, but it's it looks decent. I know before this update, everything sort of looked a little yellowish. It looked good, but it looked uh, like a little tint of yellow in it. But that grass looks pretty good, guys. It's looking pretty decent. Down to 78%. Our horizon looks like it's good now. Came up a little right there. And check all those clouds out. Are we actually in sport mode? Um, yeah. Okay. It's not like the X8 SE. It doesn't give you the option to switch on and off on the main screen of the app here. Let's actually turn sport off, guys, and see... I'm getting sick of that gimbal drop. Let's turn around here. And head back over towards me. Yeah, we're, we're fine. It's still flying pretty decent here. I'm getting actually getting 15 meters per second. So I've got the speed cranked up to 16. There we go. Just don't have sport mode enabled. It's not bad, guys. Not bad at all. It's much better than the version 1. Even though they took the night mode and the HDR out of this. I did ask Femi to add that back in, but they obviously are not listening. So check those clouds out. I'm looking straight out that way. That yeah, looks nice. Okay guys, so we're down to 69%. Before I finish this off here, I would like to get a thumbnail pick. So I'm going to stop recording. Now that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. We know everything's working decent here. So it's safe to perform this firmware upgrade guys. If you enjoyed our video today, please consider subscribing. Leave us a like and a comment if it helps the channel grow. Make sure those notifications are on, and until the next one, peace out. Catch you later.